Hi friends, the story that Teacher Kim's going to read today is Gucci Gucci by Qi Yuan Chen. His Chinese name is pronounced as Chen Zhi Yuan. An egg was rolling on the ground. It rolled through the trees. It rolled across the meadow. It rolled all the way down the hill. Glung, 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 glung. Finally, it rolled right into a duck's nest. Mother duck didn't notice. She was reading. Looked like she's reading a book about how to hatch the egg. Soon enough, the eggs began to crack. The first duckling to hatch had blue spots. Mother duck called him crayon. The second duckling had brown stripes. Zebra, Mother duck decided. The third duckling was yellow, and Mother Duck named him Moonlight. A rather odd-looking duckling hatched from the fourth egg. Gucci, Gucci, he said, and that became his name. Mother Duck taught her four ducklings how to swim, how to dive, and how to waddle. Gucci, Gucci always learned more quickly than the others. He was bigger and stronger, too. But no matter how quick they were, or what they looked like, Mother Duck loved all her ducklings the same. They're all getting a bedtime story. Then one terrible day, three crocodiles came out of the lake. They looked a lot like Gucci Gucci. The crocodiles were smiling, and when they laughed with their mouths wide open, the whole world could see their big pointed teeth. Did you know that crocodiles do not have tongues? Or their tongues are very, very, very short. So short that it doesn't qualify as tongue. The three crocodiles saw Gucci Gucci and smiled some more. Look at that delish, ridiculous crocodile. He's walking like a duck. Gucci Gucci heard them. I'm not walking like a duck. I'm a duck, he explained. The crocodiles laughed. <laughs> Look at yourself. No feathers, no beak, no big webbed feet. What you have is blue-gray skin, sharp claws, pointed teeth, and the smell of a bad crocodile. You're just like us. The first crocodile said, Your blue-gray body lets you hide underwater without being seen so you can get close to fat, delicious ducks. The second crocodile said, Big sharp claws help you hold fat, delicious ducks tightly so they won't get away. The third crocodile said, Point of teeth are necessary so you can chew fat, delicious ducks. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Actually, this is not true because crocodiles do not chew their food. They swallow them in whole. The three crocodiles green. We know you live with the ducks. Take them to the bridge tomorrow and practice diving. We'll wait underneath with our mouths wide open. Why would I do that? Gucci Gucci asked. Why should I listen to you? Because we're all crocodiles, and crocodiles help each other. The bad crocodiles grin again and vanish into the grass. Gucci Gucci felt terrible. He sat by the lake to think. Is it true? Am I a bad crocodile too? He looked down into the lake and made a fierce face. Gucci Gucci laughed. He looked ridiculous. I'm not a bad crocodile, of course. I'm not exactly a duck either. But the three crocodiles are nasty and they want to eat my family. I must think of a way to stop them. Gucci Gucci thought and thought and thought until finally he thought up a good idea. He went home happy and content. That night, the three bad crocodiles sharpened their pointed teeth, all the while thinking of fat, delicious ducks. 
they were ready for their feast. The next day, Gucci Gucci did as he had been told. He took the flocks of ducks to the bridge to practice diving. Oh my goodness! The three bad crocodiles were waiting for the ducks underneath the bridge. It wasn't fat delicious duck that dropped from the bridge though. It was three big hard rocks. The crocodile bit down. Crack! 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 When their pointed teeth, the three bad crocodiles ran as fast as they could. In barely a minute, they were nowhere to be seen. Gucci Gucci had saved the ducks. Gucci Gucci was the duck hero of the day. That night, all the ducks danced and celebrated. Gucci Gucci continued to live with Mother Duck, Crayon, Zebra and Moonlight and every day he became a stronger and happier crocoduck. The end. Thank you for listening.